This is uh, an example really of how to show how useful a design library can be when wanting to reuse features from other models in new models and parts etc. What we have here is uh, a series of cuts, uh, hexagonal and circular and keyways etc. And what we'd like to do is save this away in our design library for future use in other models. So the first thing I'm going to do is just expand our design library in our task pane and I'm going to pin this. And I just want to browse to the location where we want to place this. So it's in our design library, features, metric, and holes. And I'm then going to go to the feature tree, and I'm just going to shift select our four cuts, as you can see. These have highlighted, and I'm just going to drag and drop them into the task pane area. We're then prompted for an actual name for our design library feature, and I'm actually just going to call this hexagon cuts. And we'll accept that. Now this has now been saved away in our uh, design library for future use. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, quit this particular model. And we've got our new model on here. Uh, and obviously what we'd like to do is actually reuse them features that we'd saved. So all I need to do is go to the actual design library, the features in themselves, and just drag and drop them onto that particular face. Now you can see a preview. and I'm just going to drop them approximately about there. Now, because of the relations that were in the previous model, we had a concentric relation on the actual cuts. It's prompting us to select that circular edge so it can position it concentrically. And all we need to do is just click on that edge, as it suggests in the preview, and you can see it's now placed them, and you can see that that's actually been confirmed by this reference option in here. Now, we have got an option to link to a library part if we wish to. What we can do is click on here, then any future changes to this feature in our design library will then be updated in our model. Another thing we can do as well at this particular point is we can actually change the values. If we open up the size dimensions and select the override, we can actually change the values of all those dimensions in here. But we're going to stick with the default values and we're just going to accept that as such. You can now see our hexagon cut has actually been placed just the same as our original model. The only difference is it's now in a library feature. Now the problem will be is if we want to actually now modify this, it's a bit awkward to do so. So what we can do is we can right click and we have the option to dissolve library feature. And this actually converts our library feature into standard cuts as before, which can then be edited uh, with respect to sizes etc.